Hello, ghosts and ghouls. My name is Jack, and welcome to Horror Show Art. I'm a digital illustrator, mask and effects artist specialising in all things horror. Today I'm going to be showing you all a fun personal project, a quick break from the realm of Michael Myers, but something definitely rooted in the Halloween season, my rehauled Jacob mask from the movie Candy Corn. Candy Corn is a 2019 horror movie about a local outcast who's killed at the hands of some bullies and comes back for revenge. The tone of the movie is dark and twisted and it's quite fun. There's even a couple of appearances from some horror legends. But the real star of the show is this awesome mask worn by the movie's killer, Jacob Atkins. This mask was sculpted by the great Justin Mabry. Justin started out as an independent mask maker and is now the VP of art direction and character design at Trick or Treat Studios. So it comes as no surprise that they were the company to license this mask. The stock paint job was one of the better ones I've seen. The colouring was spot on and complete with some decent glossy blood. The hair however was very synthetic looking and laid very haphazardly. But I was completely blown away by the detail in the sculpt, especially for a mass produced mask. Another one straight from the movie moulds, I knew this would be right at home in my collection. So with the Halloween season in full swing, I couldn't wait to get this piece looking like it came right out of the movie. Because I wanted to highlight the intricacies in the sculpt, I decided to strip the factory paint completely, which was a tough job but well worth it to bring out that extra detail. The movie has a dark filter over it and good clear glimpses of the mask are few and far between. I also couldn't find any behind the scenes pictures of the screen used mask, so these are the reference images I was left with. This meant I had a general idea of the overall look, but the finer details were fair game. I started from a blank canvas and the paint job was achieved through washes, mottling and spattering. This gives the piece an organic skin-like quality that perfectly pairs with the nature of the sculpt and gives a lot of depth in the colour palette. I showed as much restraint as I could with the blood, I usually like to go all in on the gore, but I think I struck the right balance here. For the hair I was determined that this would be the project where I would learn how to hair punch. I wanted a realistic hairline to match the screen used piece, but ultimately I didn't have the time. I worked on this in October, so between Michael Myers masks and cosplay accessories, I really had to squeeze this one in. So the hair is a blend of mohair and crepe, and is rather hastily applied. But I'm happy with the result, and I think it does well enough to portray the patchy hairline seen in the movie. Under studio lighting, this piece is legitimately scary. The sculpt just screams Halloween. All of the wrinkles and skin details are accentuated and makes the mask look like it's actively alive. The hair looks wilder, the eyes darker. This really looks like a character you wouldn't want to meet on a dark Halloween night. As I was playing around with the lighting for some mask photography, I placed my ring light inside the mask and the result was really cool. It looked like a living jack-o'-lantern. For the Halloween season, I kept this mask above my fireplace, and now it resides on my shelf with the rest of my collection. Thank you so much for checking out this video. For insight into the process and to buy a mask for yourself, head over to my Instagram at horrorshow underscore art. I'm also on TikTok and you can follow me on there, and do check out my Etsy store for stickers, apparel and cool cosplay accessories. There'll be links to everything in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time... They're coming to get you, Barbara.